I've seen on a lot of forums that people are saying electric buses don't work. They don't have enough range. I mean, imagine if the poor kids were on the bus and it just broke down because the batteries don't last long enough. Well, yeah, that's completely false. Electric school buses now in America have 300, 300 miles of range in a bus. That, my friends, means there is literally zero chance they're going to break down on the way to school. What makes this even more amazing is these batteries are being repurposed after these buses have done around 300,000 miles as energy storage for businesses and homes. That's how good the batteries are in electric buses. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. You know, I used to ride, ride a road bicycle all the time. I used to ride about about 250 to 350 miles per week. I did a lot of road bike racing and triathlons. And I remember that the buses would drive past and I hated it. Or I'd be sitting in traffic with buses there. The diesel fumes, in particular, most buses are diesel worldwide. They would just spit these fumes in your face. And when you know what those fumes are doing to you, when you know that they cause cancer, uh, they know, you know that they're actually slowly killing you. Well, that kind of sucks, right? If you don't know that, it's not quite as bad. It's bad what's happening to you, but not knowing it in some ways is comforting. When you do know just how bad these fumes are, it's really a pretty shocking experience. However, the future is going to be better for our children than it was for us. I firmly believe that. And this is one of those reasons. Electrification of all transport. It improves everyone's experience. Imagine the bus, right? Remember when you'd get on the bus and it was so noisy, you had to talk really loudly to hear each other. Or for example, you were having to close the windows because those fumes were pouring inside the windows. Well, kids don't have to do that anymore. Electric school buses are now incredibly good. And the amazing thing is, companies are actually using these school buses for energy arbitrage. So at nighttime, school buses aren't used, right? What they actually do with them now they use them as giant battery packs for the energy grid. BYD has a virtual power plant in America that no one's really even heard about, where they use a range of different commercial vehicles like buses and trucks to run grids. It's not just BYD doing this, by the way, either. It's, in fact, various states around North America. So it's saving huge amounts of money because they can essentially store a lot of energy and then use the bat use these vehicles, say on the weekends when they're not being used, to completely run renewable grids. Which, yeah, of course, it's not the perfect solution, but it definitely makes these vehicles inc much more useful than what people realise. Green Power Motor Company, a pioneering force in manufacturing purpose-built all-electric vehicles, has unveiled what they call the Mega Beast, marking a big leap in the landscape of electric Type D school buses. This introduction represents a remarkable advancement, the company says, revolutionizing the potential of school transportation with pretty extraordinary range and some very advanced technology. And this is, a, by the way, guys, this is an American company here manufacturing these electric buses in America. This is not some Chinese product. The Mega Beast, an extended and enhanced version of the Beast, says the company redefines the conventional limitations of electric school buses. The 40-foot Type D school bus introduces a monumental change with its very big 387 kilowatt hour battery pack. So to give you an idea here, that's basically four battery packs from a Tesla Model S put together. So the Tesla Model S has a battery pack. It's around 95 kilowatt hours in size. So this is just under four of those put together. This offers an unprecedented range of 300 miles or approximately 500 kilometers. Michael Perez, the Vice President of School Bus Contracts and Grants at Green Power, accentuated its significance. He, this is what he said. The extended range of the Mega Beast will help more school districts make the switch from NOx, as in cancer emitting diesel buses, to the Green Power all electric zero emission option that provides a safer, cleaner and healthier ride for school kids. Now, guys, if you're watching from Europe, or in fact, many countries, you're probably thinking, yeah, 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 we've been using electric buses now for years. China, electric buses for years. They've been all over the streets in China for a long time. But keep in mind, 
in a lot of these places, the long range buses that your schools have been using haven't been electric, but that's about to all change as a result of improved energy density and the prices of battery packs coming down, making these buses very much affordable when they previously weren't. And I'm talking about long range buses here now, not the ones that were capable of just doing the, you know, the short school runs only. The Mega Beast design has been meticulously crafted to cater to the diverse requirement of school districts, they say. It is tailored to address the long range needs of rural communities, ensuring bus routes can be efficiently covered without the necessity for midday charging. Furthermore, the bus's integration into extracurricular activities, as in, you know, going to sporting events in other cities potentially, along with its resilience to extreme weather conditions showcases its adaptability. Brendan Riley, president of Green Power, said the Mega Beast is a game changer and it has a huge amount of power. Now, the thing is, guys, I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I remember we were on the bus and the buses would be trying to get up a hill and it would be going so slow, it felt like you could get out and walk faster. And you'd be thinking, is this bus going to make it up the hill? And it's like, rah, rah. And yeah, you just make it up the hill. Well, totally different now. You might be thinking, oh, mate, that was back in the 80s and 90s. Things are different, but they're not different. I've been driving down freeways in the, over the last six months here in Australia. Trucks here, they really struggle to get up hills on our highways. They go probably 20, 30 miles an hour routinely on freeways where you're meant to be doing up, you know, 70 miles an hour. That's dangerous. Electric trucks and electric buses have so much more power and they can get up these hills with ease, which is therefore much, much safer. The Mega Beast isn't just about its extended range though. Its technical specifications and features uh, really show that it is in many ways a game changer. This is not a small bus, by the way. This can seat 90 passengers. It has air ride suspension, ABS disc brakes, and a huge amount of storage as well. But here's the thing. These buses go so much further than simply being transportation. The advancement in electric school bus technology signifies a huge step towards reducing greenhouse gas emissions, but also promoting sustainability. The larger battery size of the Mega Beast is geared to support vehicle to grid applications, aiming to create a more reliable grid promote clean energy and reduce costs. I mean, the reality is here, you can make money from one of these things when it's not being used to drive kids or things to school or whatever that are, whatever other uses buses may have. The company said, vehicle to grid is becoming a common sense tool that helps to create a more reliable grid, promote clean energy and reduce costs. And when you think about it, the size of the battery packs in these buses is that big, you could probably run an entire street on one of these. The Mega Beast is part of Green Power's award-winning lineup of zero emissions vehicles. And the company is actually aiming to build a model within a few years with even more range than 300 miles. There are actually electric buses right now in China that have approximately 350 miles of range, but apparently there are new models coming out worldwide that could have up to 500 miles of range and can charge at a speed of 400 kilowatts. However, keep in mind, Tesla has the Semi, which is capable of one megawatt charging, which in theory would enable you to charge your electric bus in probably only about half an hour. What are your thoughts, guys? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.